This is our first of three opening round matches this week on Ring of Honor Wrestling. Wow! There we go, and girlfriend. Miranda, though, there's that Lucha style. Alizé takes Gracia Dassi up and over, ducks the right. Gracia now out of it. Drop kick sends Alizé down to the mat. Gracia falling her out. Take a chance! Oh, oh nobody oh. inside. A fresh cow oh, drives her again into the barricade. Oh. Firewoman carry position. Oh, one more from Gracia. Oh! Gets her with the cutter. Drive oh. by. Hook the leg. Ladies, Chelsea. That's all it's she over. wrote. Code Ooh. of Honor. These two are familiar with one another. They've wrestled in the same circle. It's a bit of time to get down to business. Ooh, uh, double nice. wrist lock here. Yeah. Elbow's not supposed to go left to right. Fight out of it, ducks the right. Go behind, grabs the wrist, rip cord. Maserati! Uh, beautiful bridge! Maserati off the rope. Oh, Savoy caught her. Nowhere to go for Maserati! Oh, my goodness! It's over with an F5. The TKO. One, two. Wow. Maserati with the kick out. Yeah. Savoy can't believe it. Ooh! Shot to the knee there, sends Savoy down. Ooh! Look at it. Take off her head. Swung for the fence. That's it! There. Oh, that's it! Right. Yeah, the bridge. That's a finisher! Two! Yeah, three! She got her! She will need some clutch shots and some clutch moves. She cannot nice. afford any mistakes here. Way from deep went to move in. The young veteran. Look at that. Oh, great counter! Yeah. Mexican style takeover for Rock C. Oh, 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 oh. God. Wow, and there is that Lucha influence. I pulled out something old school, but then if they know it, it's like, wow, this guy studies. Oh, 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 oh. Up to the top row. Roxia! Plants her! Gets her! Two! Ooh. I want to counter! Sumi was going for a finisher there. Roxy even countered that. Roxy studies. Roll Sumi through! One, That's it! She's two, trapped! She's trapped! She's trapped! She's she trapped! She's trapped! She just beat her! She just beat a former champion! Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ring of Honor Week by Week. I'm Ian Riccoboni, filling in for Quinn McKay, who's busy getting ready for her huge Women's Championship Tournament first round match this weekend on Ring of Honor Television against Mandy Leon. Stick around until the end because we have an exclusive bout. But right now, let's talk about the Women's Tournament. The latest edition of ROH TV kicked off the quest to crown a brand new ROH Women's World Champion with three first round matches. We saw the tournament kick off with the Lucha Batty Miranda Alize defeating the Pink Dream Alex Gracia to advance to the quarterfinals. Let's hear from Miranda after her big win. The first round of the Women's Championship Tournament is well underway here, and I'm joined now by Hello. Miranda Alize. Hello. Hello indeed, Miranda. You just got done fighting Alex Gracia, who I understand is a very good friend of yours. Uh, Talk me through what was going through your mind uh, facing her in that match. Well. I mean, nothing was going through my mind, really. I was kind of just out there having fun. I am a strong, confident woman. Um, I love Alex, but at the end of the day, business is just business. That's literally my best friend, but tonight, unfortunately, just wasn't her night, and I knew it wasn't gonna be her night. I don't care who you put me with. I don't care who's around me. I'm not intimidated by anybody in this business. I'm strong, I'm confident, and that's why I go out there and I deliver every single night. So I'm really excited to be here and I'm glad that my best friend's here, but it just is what it is. At the end of the day, we're here to fight. Friend or foe, Miranda Alizé, here to fight. She's strong, she's confident, and she could be champion. I will be champion. <laughs> Another first round match was the Las Vegas native Maserati going one on one with the Sacramento suplex machine, Nicole Savoy. Savoy was victorious in this back and forth contest and she moves on to the next round. Let's hear what Nicole had to say following the best. Brian Zane here backstage with Nicole Savoy in her first match back in Ring of Honor in over a year and a half and a big win it was in the first round of the Women's Championship Tournament. How do you feel? I feel great. You know, outside of Ring of Honor, they know me to be, be a part of groups, but here I'm here to fight on my own. Absolutely. Now, you and I go back a ways, Nicole. I've known you for a long time going back to the California days, and this has to be the most intense I've seen you in the entire time. So after a win like that, where do you go from here? The World Championship. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. The last first round match to take place on the latest edition of ROH TV saw the 19-year-old prodigy, Roxy, upset the former Women of Honor World Champion and veteran of the ring, Sumi Sakai. Let's take it to Roxy backstage after the biggest win of her career. 
A lot of brackets have been busted in the Women's Championship Tournament as Roxy scores a huge upset against Sumi Sakai. Congratulations. How do you feel? I feel amazing, Brian. I can't really put it into words, but I just beat Sumi Sakai, the first Woman of Honor champion. And, I mean, I am the baby of this division, but what I did, just did out there, that just proves that I am not to be underestimated. And I'm going to go very, very far in this tournament. Well, first things first is the second round of the tournament. Now, you face either Quinn McKay or Mandy Leone. If you had a choice in the matter, who would you rather fight? Um, probably Quinn McKay. Um, no disrespect to Mandy Leone. But I don't want to have to be looking behind my back. And I feel as though if I wrestle Quinn, it'll be a straightforward match. So, hopefully... That works out. Well, one of those two options awaits you in the next round. Congratulations once again to Roxy. The tournament continues tomorrow on Women's Division Wednesday on ROH's YouTube channel at 7 p.m. Eastern, when we will see a first round matchup between decorated veteran Allison Kay and Willow. Allison has been all around the world, and Willow is a rising sensation. And here are both Allison and Willow with words going in to their exciting bouts. My name is Allison Kay. I am from Detroit, Michigan. I've been wrestling for over 12 years, and I am here to add the ROH Women's Division Championship to my already very classy resume. You know, I can't imagine there are many athletes in this tournament whose names have gone down written in the history books alongside people such as Mildred Burke, Penny Banner, June Byers. I am a former NWA Women's World Champion, and I plan on bringing that prestige to this division, the ROH Women's Division, and becoming the first ROH Women's Division Champion. I definitely have the MMA background. I had an amateur fight. I won. I'm undefeated. 1-0, baby. And I started competing in jiu-jitsu. I just really fell in love with the grappling aspect. And I mean, over time, just naturally started adding it to my wrestling as well. Don't turn your back to me, ladies. Just don't. I'm going to give you that little tidbit right now. Watch out for that rear naked choke. Watch out for that Kimura. I will make you suffer for every second that you decide to stay in the ring with me. Other than that, let's have fun, ladies. I do know Willow. I've seen her on the indies. I know that she will really bring everything that she has. This would just skyrocket her to the top. Willow, you have a great personality, you got charisma, you got spunk, you have a great smile. I'm sure you're gonna be great. I'm sure you're gonna be tough, but you're not gonna be better than me. And you will learn what everyone learns eventually. AK, don't play. My name is Willow. I fancy myself the babe with the power. I like the term babe because, you know, I'm a fine piece of thing. Power in wrestling usually implies strength, like physical strength, but it also implies emotional strength, the power to change people's minds, opinions. And so I could be a babe with the power, but so can all my fans and everyone else and all of you. I consider myself like a powerhouse of sunshine and soul. I'm physically a powerhouse. I try to bring a lot of strength-based offense, but I'm also like pretty agile. And I like to put a little finesse in there, you know, my moon salt. When I wrestle, I feel like I don't even have to think about my physical being because like the love that I have for wrestling and like the connection that I feel to a crowd, like it just all moves through me. I just kind of let my heart sing and my body follows. So wrestling has been a very, very powerful vehicle for me learning to love myself. Allison Kay, my first round opponent, she's very intimidating, <laughs> but I go in every match with more or less the same mentality of like, you're who you are. Whoever your opponent is doesn't change who you are, what you're capable of. I'm gonna try not to let her experience, not let that get to me, and just bring my own strength and my own energy to this match. Ring of Honor TV this weekend, though, will have two more first round bouts, including one we alluded to earlier. Quinn McKay will face Mandy Leon in a rematch from their bout a few weeks ago. Quinn, this is your chance. Everybody focuses on the summit, but let's focus on the climb. You got this. Let's take a closer look at this one. Here's the short of it. I've been given more opportunities to prove myself to be in this women's tournament 
than anybody else. And I get that entirely, I really do. I have to earn my spot as a competitor in Ring of Honor, but the allure has been there to ruin that opportunity for me at every possible turn. And now, it's been announced that they're no longer allowed to accompany each other to ringside. And thanks to you, the fan, I get to be in the Ring of Honor Women's Championship Tournament. And in my first round, I get a rematch against Mandy Leon. So I'm going to repay that favor and thank you by kicking Mandy Leon's ass and closing this book once and for all. Any questions? To no one's surprise, Quinn McKay gets another opportunity to wrestle. And Maria, if I'm not mistaken, it kind of seems like you're kind of playing favorites here. Because not only are you giving her one opportunity, two opportunities, you're giving her a third opportunity here to compete. And you want me to believe that the fans voted Quinn into this? Because it sounds like it was rigged to me. You think someone with two matches deserves to be in this prestigious tournament for a world title against me, someone who's almost a 10 year veteran in this business, someone who was the founding mother of this division. I find that quite disrespectful. And I gotta be honest, Maria, it kind of feels like you've got something against me. And if you do, let me know. But at the end of the day, what it all boils down to, Quinn, there's a title on the line and I have unfinished business here. Quinn, you're just another stepping stone on my way to the Women's Championship. The other first round match taking place this very weekend will be Marty Bell squaring off against Trish Adora. Marty Bell is one of the most dangerous fighters in the world coming to you from New York City, and Trish Adora is Army Strong and Army Tough coming to you from the District of Columbia. Let's hear from both of these athletes right now. I'm Marty Bell, the Dominican Dynamite from New York City. Growing up, I was a very typical New York tomboy. I played volleyball. I was a starting pitcher for three years in high school. I danced, I acted. Wrestling just became the biggest way to marry absolutely everything I loved. I think for so many years, I kind of did what everybody else expected of me. I was still always mindful of what other people wanted from me. And so now I feel like I can be goofy, I can be serious when I need to be, and I can be a million different things and that's okay, nobody has to fit into one box. You can check off every single category and that's what makes you you. It's Trisha Dora and I'm here to stand in solidarity with my people. I'm here to show you what's really in a handshake. I grew up in Washington, D.C. I have five brothers, I'm the only girl. I played rugby for Indiana University of Pennsylvania. It was one of the first times I really got active and was really able to figure out what I can do with my body, so. I really wanted to do something I could be proud of, and I was thinking that the military, that the Army would be a really good fit for me. You know, some of those lessons I'm, I'm never gonna forget. Marty Bell's strength, she's extremely quick. So for me, the technician, I'm looking to slow her down, for sure. I'm going to be looking to submit her. I've gotten a chance to step into the ring with Trisha Dora once, and it was a very, very technical fight. I know that she's gonna come either with that very strong Lariat Tubman, or she's gonna come with that catamulation. I know what I need to focus on, and I'm excited to step back into the ring with her. I beat her once, and I don't know why I wouldn't be able to do it again. The biggest strength that I'm bringing to this tournament is my experience. I've been in high profile matches. I've been on pay-per-view all over the world. And that's something that Trish just doesn't have yet. So I know that under pressure, I will not bend. A couple of months ago, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. Time is of the essence. And it's important that I'm able to spend those moments with her. And it's also important that I'm able to move forward with my career. Growing up, she had very low self-esteem. She didn't feel like she could do anything. Those things that she saw people doing on TV, she didn't ever thought that that was for her. I'm in this tournament for her. I'm gonna do everything for her. And I'm gonna have my shoulders back. I'm gonna have my head held high. And I'm gonna be the first Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Along with these two first round bouts, we will also see a huge tag team match this weekend as the new Ring of Honor World Champion Bandito will team up with his best friend Ray Oris 
and they will face Violence Unlimited's Brody King and one half of the World Tag Team Champions Chris Dickinson. Let's hear from both teams right now. First of all, congratulations, Bandito. Finally, somebody dethroned Roosh and his dumbass family. But really, the moment we're all here for. Congratulations, Chris Dickinson. Brand new Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion. Violence Unlimited on top. And in tonight's tag team match, we're going to show Ring of Honor exactly what we have shown New Japan Pro Wrestling. Tell them, Chris. You see, I may be world tag team champions here at Homicide, but in New Japan Pro Wrestling, <laughs> me and Brody are no strangers to tag team action. Now you got a star-studded matchup here. You got champions all over the place. And Bandino, don't think I forgot about Survival of the Fittest. Don't think I forgot about the 21 Plex. Tonight, this is a big time match. It ain't about LFI, it ain't about none of that nonsense. It's about the best this company, Ring of Honor, has to offer. Are you ready, Bandito? Are you ready, Ray Horace? There's honor in violence, and this is Violence Unlimited. Carnal! Felicidades, carnal. Gracias, Nuevo no, champ. ¿Cómo te sientes? Gracias. Me siento contento, emocionado. Ahora sí estamos preparados y estamos listos. Tú, ¿cómo te sientes? I'm very excited for our match today. Yeah. Against Violence Unlimited. Violence. Espero que vengan preparados porque Rey Horus sí viene preparado. ¿Por qué? Porque lleva de pareja al campeón bandido. Así es. Aquí está donde debe de estar el cinturón. Aquí, en la cintura del más buscado. Carnal. Recuerden, esta noche, el sol de Tijuana is gonna shine on you. Yeah, this is a new era. This is the most wanted champion era. You can trust me when I say it's no hyperbole that this weekend's ROH TV is going to be huge. And that's not slowing down as in two weeks' time here on ROH TV, we will see the return of Champions vs. All-Stars. It's Bandito, Dragon Lee, Homicide, Chris Dickinson, and Jonathan Gresham taking on the team of Mark and Jay Briscoe, Josh Woods, EC3, and Flip Gordon. Holy moly, that's going to be crazy. Something else that will be absolutely crazy will be the main event for Glory by Honor Night 2 on August 21st in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. It will be the last stand as both Matt Taven and Vincent will be locked inside a steel cage to settle it once and for all. Let's hear from the leader of the righteous right now. Feels good, man. Feels good. Cage, man. Cage means nothing to me. You've, you've locked me in a cage for years, man, in your political prison. And I was just dancing around in this cage. While you were, you were flying around like a, like a free little birdie, man. And then at the end, you were like, king me, and made it all about yourself. Oh, this cage that you want, man. If it's a cage that you want, the door's open, man. Come on in. And fans, tickets are on sale right now for Glory by Honor Nights 1 and 2 in Philadelphia, and both events will be streamed live on Honor Club. The main event for Night 1 is the most wanted, Bandito, defending his newly won Ring of Honor Championship for the first time against the mercenary Flip Gordon. That's not the only championship on the line on Night 1, as we will see the octopus Jonathan Gresham defending his pure championship against fellow teammate, the professional, Rhett Titus. Jonathan Gresham's won 11 matches by 11 methods of victory. Rhett Titus near the top of the ranking should be a heck of a bout. Also on night one, it will be EC3 going one on one with the Mecca Brian Johnson. And just signed, this one's exciting folks, Silas Young will take on Ray Oris in singles action. We talked about the huge cage match headlining night two, but a match that could easily headline any event will be the new champion Bandito, who may or may not have the title on night two. He'll be teaming with Ray Oris against former Ring of Honor World Champion Roosh and current Ring of Honor World Television Champion Dragon Lee in a Lucha Tag Team bout. The last time Dragon Lee and Roosh teamed together in Philadelphia, it was a barn burner, a match of the year classic against the Briscoes in 2019, and this team returns to action against Bandito and Ray Oris. This is the one Caprice and I have circled on our calendars. 
Get your tickets now for Glory by Honor and also get your tickets for Death Before Dishonor live on pay-per-view from Lakeland, Florida on Sunday, September 12th. Tickets are on sale now and big stuff is planned like the finals of the ROH Women's Championship Tournament and you can expect more matches to be announced very soon. Now, Joe Hendry is one of my favorite wrestlers here at Ring of Honor, but he's also a talented musician and a talented analyst. Let's take it to Joe Hendry's new segment, Joe Hendry's 60 Second Breakdown. I'm Joe Hendry and this is the Technique Tuesday's 60 Second Breakdown. And today we're going to take a look at Jay Lethal's Lethal Injection Finishing Maneuver. You know, Jay is not only a multiple time former world champion, but also in many people's eyes, one of, if not the best, wrestler in the world and one of the key tools he's used to earn that reputation is of course the lethal injection to his feet lethal and jackson it originates from the ace crusher developed by johnny ace in japan in the 1980s it has since gone on to become one of the most popular most recognizable moves in all of professional wrestling but this is what makes jay's very special indeed. It's not just a standard cutter. What he does is he uses a handspring onto the ropes to generate extra momentum. We know that mass times acceleration equals force and Jay throws his body mass and accelerates it into the ropes with a handspring backwards, giving him extra height and momentum to drive his opponent down with that cutter. And if he hits you with that, it is over. And that is why the lethal injection is so damn effective. I know that was a lot of dates and matches and places. ROHWrestling.com is your key to sorting it all out and making sure that you are there live to enjoy Ring of Honor with us. Be sure to check out all the fresh content on all of the ROH platforms, including the ROH Strong Podcast, which drops every Monday featuring Kevin Eck. Kevin Eck breaks news all the time, too, on his weekly X-Files article on ROHWrestling.com. Some other articles include A Dose of Colemanism by my partner Caprice Coleman and so much more. Also, don't forget to check out the Best on the Planet 24-7 streaming channel on the Stir and Plex apps. Plus, ShopHonor.com is everything you need to support your favorite wrestlers, including those wonderful Honor Pals. Share your thoughts and opinions about all things ROH in our Facebook group, and don't forget to use the hashtag ChooseYourHonor on all social media platforms. Now, it's time for our exclusive match. Matt Taven was not cleared to compete by the Maryland State Athletic Commission, but that's not going to stop Mike Bennett from going into war with the odds completely stacked against him. It's Dutch and Bateman versus Mike Bennett in a handicap match. We hope you enjoy this exclusive bout. I'm Ian Riccoboni. Happy wrestling, everybody. Welcome everyone to Baltimore, Maryland. Ian Riccoboni, Caprice Coleman, and it's time for our week-by-week -week exclusive bout. We thank you so much for joining us. This match was intended and signed to be a tag team bout Caprice, but one of its competitors not medically cleared by the State of Maryland Athletic Commission to compete here tonight. So it will be a two-on-one bout as the stakes couldn't be higher for the group you are seeing here as we get closer and closer to glory by honor on Friday, August 20th and Saturday, August 21st. This is a week-by-week -week exclusive tag team match set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first, being accompanied by Vita Von Starr at a combined weight of 588 pounds. They are representing the righteous, the team of Bateman and Dutch. Bateman and Dutch. A formidable duo, and, and you have to wonder in their own right, Caprice, if these two gigantic men, they would be a force to be reckoned with if they become a regular team here at Ring of Honor. You know what, the video cameras don't do justice on how huge these two guys are, how imposing they look in public. These guys walk through a door and immediately get attention. And there they're here at Ring of Honor. You see Bateman there with the V on his hand, Vita Von Star on the right, and Dutch. Yeah. And we are being joined right now at the commentary position by a man who has a date with his former best friend on Saturday, August 21st at Glory by Honor. A man who could become the number one contender for the Ring of Honor World Championship. All it would take is a count of three. We'd like to welcome Vincent to the commentary position. Is this thing on, man? You guys can hear me? Everybody can hear me? Was best in the world a beautiful thing or what? 
at best in the world. You got what you wanted, Vincent. You got, you're getting Matt Taven in the ring on Saturday, August 21st, glory by honor, the last stand inside of a steel cage. Right, but there's only one other problem that stands in the way with Taven's ego, and here he is, man. Everyone, Burke, wrestling up Boston, Massachusetts, weighing 224 pounds, Mike Bennett. And make no mistake about it, Mike Bennett, the only reason he is alone here tonight is because of the actions of the righteous. The Ring of Honor Board of Directors said the righteous that Vincent and Matt Taven could not engage hands until a match was signed. Well, the match was signed, sealed, delivered. And to your credit, Vincent, Taven struck first, but you struck the hardest. It's, it's just like Taven to do that, Ian. Show up unprepared. He, he wasn't ready to give me what I wanted, man. That's the shot at the Ring of Honor World Champion. I was locked in his political prison for years in the kingdom, man, and I'm gonna lock us together. I get now, it, man. I get it, I really do. You guys think you're clever, huh? You both know, Vincent, you know, Taven is not medically cleared to wrestle tonight. Yeah, After man. you logged on him through a sign, I get it. You guys are real, real funny with your mind games coming out here snapping. Well, guess what? I might be a little crazy myself, too. I might be a little stupid, because I'll tell you what, Taven can't come out here, but that doesn't mean I can't beat the ever-living hell out of the two of you. Two on one, three on one, four on one. I don't care. Let's do it. See, you like this type of stuff, don't you? Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you know this is not going to happen, but you know he's going to try his best. Probably get hurt doing it. This is my one problem standing in the way of me, Chris. Bell rings and we are off. Bateman misses with the clothesline and it's Bennett 201, former Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champion. Going to do his best to avenge his best friend, Matt Taven. A friend that you once shared. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. It's, like it's, that, it's funny, man. Like I go that. way back with, like with Bennett too, man. But, but what they didn't realize is there was an empty seat in the car, man. I hopped in, and they were driving the way. I was leading this the whole entire time. They didn't notice, man. Dig what I'm saying? That's the kind of power I have. That's the kind of power Vincent has. And that's why I'm going to be at the top of the mountain, man. I will become Ring of Honor World Champion. Dig what I'm saying? You'll have to defeat Taven in Philadelphia. Tickets available at ROHwrestling.com. You can be there live. You can join us there. Moving oh. fast. We encourage you to get them now. Tag made. Bateman, who stands at about 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 and now comes the 6'2", nearly 350-pound Dutch. In there with Mike Bennett. That's what I'm saying, like these Dutch guys. is an inhuman monster, man. That's not going to work. Seems like he's an empty vessel that you are the puppeteer of, Vincent. I'm not a puppeteer of anything, Ian. These people, I'm not responsible for their actions, man. You people are. All I did was teach them how to stand up for themselves. That's all I did, man. That's right. He's not a puppeteer. Yes. He's a pimpeteer. And look at this. Grabbing the wrist. What is he going to do here? Dutch. Rip cords him. Slams him down. Death walks, man. Death walks. One, two. two. Did he? Wow. And he brings him back. That's not enough, man. You see? That's not enough. You see? The, we're going to be locked it. in this cage, man. i got to make sure that Bennett doesn't even make it to the building. Dig what I'm saying? Oh. So is this an assignment here? This isn't an assignment. This isn't an assignment. I know Taven, man. I know Taven better than the man right there laying down in the middle of that ring right now. You know I know Taven's yeah. plan. And referee Todd Sinclair in an unenviable position in two-on-one competition here. I've been in Taven shockers for years. For years, this could have ended, but it was always oh, him, me, him, me, him, me, him, me. He could have ended this a long time ago, man. He wanted to keep this going. Right to the throat, what I'm saying? 350 pounds. Oh, and what? Bateman just what? shoved Todd to the Todd ain't yeah, going to take man. that. You, you, this will result in fines, maybe a suspension for Dutch. That means been at one. You man. know that, right? Man. Kill the ego, man. Kill the ego. Oh, my God. Look at him. He's choking him. Somebody is covering call my mouth. Him out <laughs> I dig what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. They're trying right to incapacitate them. This is a righteous move. Them, you're this is a righteous them. move, man. You see Bateman? You see? After the talk I had with Bateman oh, in the middle of the ring, look at him now, man. Look at him now. The power is all in his hands, man. Dig what I'm saying? But like, call you guys off, man. This is it, it's over. I'm it's not disgusting. responsible for their actions. They are, you're man. Responsible. Really? Vincent, you could end this in a second. You could end this in a I second. Want more. 
I want no. more, man. Give me some more. You're not Give responsible. You're not I want a repeat. You're... I'm best in the world. Dig what I'm saying? Give it to me. Give it to me. If you're not responsible, why are you telling them you want more? <laughs> why are you telling them you want more? <laughs> We're going to kill that ego of Taven, man. I mean, that sounds impossible. That's like finding gold in a silver mine. Dig what I'm saying? But you're going to find out right now. This is the end of Mike Bennett right here, man. The end of Mike Bennett? What? <laughs> Send him to me, man! Send him to me! Oh, and Bennett, ben, that depraved of oxygen after that vicious David, assault. David, I hope you're watching, man. Dig what I'm saying? This is it right here. What is he this doing? Is There's nothing over there! No, oh, my God! God. <laughs> <laughs> Haven, <laughs> now it is just you and me locked in a cage. Where your ego is going to die forever. Dig what I'm saying? Guys, come on, come on, please, okay. please, please. August 21st, please. the last stand. Please. Vincent, Matt, Taven inside the cage. We need some help out here. Can we get some help, fans? We Get these cameras. We don't need to give these guys any attention, any more camera attention. Get the cameras off of them.